This is Adam Lodestone, and this is the inaugural broadcast of the show Transit. So, why the name Transit for this show? Well, Transit is a word that means across, or to go across. And one of the principles that I live by is to cross over from the universal into the personal, and to cross from the personal into the archetypal. Archetypes being maps that make up my story and your stories. And when we arrive at that intersection of those stories, that is relationship. I believe that relationships reveal us to ourselves. And so our stories, when we share them with one another, provide us with perhaps a new lens with which to look at ourselves and our lives and the stories that we tell ourselves and the potential that we carry by virtue of reaffirming old stories or shedding them, restructuring them, recreating them, renovating them, innovating them, creating brand new I'm kind of riffing off of what other people bring to us. So this show is going to be a collection of stories that create a map of the life of Adam Lodestone. So who is Adam Lodestone? Well, I am... 44 years old. I am, among other things, a transgender man. I was born and raised in the beautiful and wonderful state of Vermont, and I am currently living in the equally intriguing state of Illinois. Uh, I am also a fine artist. I am a kind of channel through the senses and through my spiritual being. My artwork is something that comes through me. I'm not necessarily purely the creator of those works, though I get to co-create and I get to play with and I get to interpret the kinds of things that want to be expressed through my artistry. I am a modern day shaman and how that came to be will be a part of some of the stories that I have to share with you because as has always been the case, ever since the very dawn of things in our human story. One does not choose to be a shaman. <laughs> Spirit chooses you to become a shaman. I am a counselor, um, and I've been trained in transpersonal psychology and art therapy. I am a historian, a researcher, a calligrapher, a wildlife rehabber, I am a husband and father, and I have also been a mother, though that's a story for another time. I am a lover of nature and a child of Gaia, and the intersection of gender and gender roles and the masculine and feminine principles and our relationship to Gaia, um, our planetary mother, is something that I will also explore in some of these stories as it is something that speaks very deeply to me on an intimately personal level about why I am here and what it is we're doing in the next stage of our personal, social, political, collective evolution. So while I dislike labels immensely, I've given you a few, and we can consider them post-it notes um, <laughs> on the poster board of the being that is me. Um, I am also, among many other things that I could call out, a synesthete, and that means that my senses overlap and blend in interesting ways. And one of the things that I love to explore, and I love to encourage others to explore, is how it is that we become more alive through our senses rather than less. We live in a time where we are inundated by sensory input. We are overloaded with technology and personal interaction that may or may not have a lot of meaning to it. We have very little time 
to be still and to be silent, we have even less time available to us to explore things purely for the sake of them being pleasurable on a, you know, a really soul-satisfying way. And so I want to move myself out of a place where what I'm experiencing through my senses numbs me or limits me or discourages me from being my fullest self. And so my art and my music and my cooking and my beingness are all about reawakening that sense of yes. Uh, and that's what my work is about. By and large, the ministry that I have, the counseling that I offer, my work as a shaman, my work as an artist, and who I am in relationship to others is all about falling more and more in love with life and reaffirming that yes, that commitment to a life wish. Um, we have plenty of opportunities in our lives to say no um, <laughs> to those things that don't serve us anymore, that dull us down, dumb us down, numb us, make us feel less and less vital and once we've said no, and we've really got that lesson down, then we need to find out what our yes is. And so many of my stories are about the relationships that I've formed over the years and the circumstances that I found myself in that make up the lessons, the initiations, the realizations, the integrations of me <laughs> um, and that have crafted this path that I'm on and have created for me the conviction that our life is about living <laughs> and we don't often give ourselves the opportunity to do a lot of living. Every relationship I've ever been in, every encounter that I've ever had has taught me about who I am and has created situations for me that tell me what it is that I want to live for. So in telling these stories, I'm hoping that what is of value to me will cross over into your own consideration and perhaps you will find something of value for you in what it is that I bring to you. So we will cross over together into a relationship of storyteller and listener and together we can explore more and more of what it is to fall more and more in love with life, crossing over from surviving to thriving, crossing over from humans doing into humans being, crossing over from my most personal and intimate places into the archetypes and into the map making that then builds one individual at a time, our community. So thank you for listening to this inaugural posting of the show Transit and I am Adam Lodestone, and I will be speaking to you again soon. Blessings to you. Namaste.